Tante. Dante. Dante. All right, settle down, everyone. Welcome to Mechanics 101, where we'll be learning about game mechanics that they forgot to put in the tutorial. Huh? What was that? I ignore gameplay mechanics all the time, and I'm not qualified to be teaching? Nonsense. I was farming clips when I blew that factory up. I totally wasn't too lazy to look up the mechanic. What do you mean literally all I do is just click win rate and mirror dungeon? Give me a break. Refraction Railway doesn't come out until another week. Anyways, today we'll be going over the recent resonance changes. Resonance now boosts the skill's offense or defense level rather than the damage, and absolute resonance applies the highest level of the boost to all resonating skills in the chain. And if you didn't do the required reading and are wondering what the hell I'm talking about, that's okay. I never did my required readings in college either. Resonance refers to when you try and stuff as many skills of the same color into a chain. As you keep adding more skills to the chain, they will gain increasingly powerful bonuses. Absolute Resonance refers to when we play Connect 4 and try and get as many of the same color next to each other as we can. And this lets all the skills in the chain benefit from the highest bonus. Before Resonance was more of a nice to have, since while it increased damage for skills in the chain, it never really helped you win clashes. However, Resonance now raises offense levels, which means chaining the same color together actively enhances our clashing power. Check out my short on offense levels if you're new to how this works, but TLDR, every 5 offense level you have over your enemy gives you 1 power while clashing. Also, someone in the community discord tipped me off that you actually get some damage for every point of offense you have too. As for exactly how much offense resonance gives us, thankfully someone on the subreddit already tested all the values so we don't have to. By now you might be feeling a little confused or even overwhelmed, so let's go over an example. Let's say we have Yizhang using striker stance against oppressive preaching. Before the changes, Yizhang would lose the clash if both skills rolled heads and win if both world tails. With the changes, a chain of 3 or more would boost Tizang's offense level to 44, making the skills tie when both roll heads, improving your odds of winning the clash. Small differences like these can compound to the point where it might be a better idea to use a weaker skill with resonance, while saving your more powerful skills for later.